Well, hello, good people. You know, I happened to come across a Reddit post while... My apologies, everyone. My audio cut out during this part, so I'm gonna just narrate over this part. So basically, I came across this Reddit post on a stable diffusion platform called Easy Diffusion 2.5. And it's supposed to be super simple to install, no complicated processes for you. Full credit to this Reddit poster, Mr. Busy Sky. I think you all will be very happy using this platform locally. So we're going to click on the link here. And I'm going to leave that link in the description below. Now, once we scroll down towards the bottom here, you're going to see some examples of the images that were made using this platform. These are some download links for Windows or Linux users and a very easy to follow step by step guide. So we're going to click on download for Windows, sorry, Mac users, and I'm going to download this to my downloads folder. We just need to open it up and extract it in the same folder. Then we're going to grab the folder and bring it into the C drive. That's where I choose to install it. It's up to you. I've got automatic 1111 located on my D drive there, but I wanted to keep this separate. So in your C drive, you're going to see a folder stable diffusion UI windows. We want to go into that folder. So let's double click that. You'll see another folder, Stable Diffusion UI. And then you're going to see an icon at the bottom that says Start Stable Diffusion UI. This is how you're going to start up Easy Diffusion 2.5 every time you want to use it. Since this is the first time installing it, once you double click on it, you're going to get this notice. Don't worry about it. Click on More Info and then click on run anyway. Once it runs this first part, once it says press any key to continue, you can just go ahead and do that. And this process might take a few minutes. I believe it took about 10 minutes for me. You'll know that it's done because the browser for Easy Diffusion 2.5 is gonna pop up on your screen. So here we are. Once the installation was done, it just opened up this uh, web UI. So at the top, you see Easy Diffusion version 2.5.22. You'll see that there's some tabs here. So we have our generate area, which is where we're gonna create our images. Some settings that we'll go through maybe later. Oh, theme, can I change this? My, okay, cool. Discord, cool blue. Blurple, let's go Blurple. I kinda like that. Helping community, merge models. Oh, if that's a thing, that's cool. Where you can combine two models. I do believe though, it's best to have a NVIDIA graphics card. And apparently it works with four gigabytes of VRAM, maybe two or three. And there is an option to use just the CPU, but that could take forever. At this point, I just kind of want to generate an image. So let's go ahead and prompt my usual cute and adorable raccoon. I kind of use that as a basis for testing along with some other usual prompts that I use. There's a section here for a negative prompts, which I filled out. We'll look at all the settings later. Let's just make an image. But I tell you, the installation process was really simple. It only took a few minutes to go through. So here you go. Here's our image here. And yeah, it's a cute and adorable raccoon. <laughs> All right, let's look at the image settings. So obviously it only made one, so we'll change that to four for next time. It's got stable diffusion 1.4, I'm presuming. So we'll definitely have to download 1.5 and some custom models for sure. There's a section here for VAE files. We'll get into that another time. We have our samplers here, Euler Ancestral. Oh, there's quite a bit. PLMS, DDIM, DPM. Oh, I like that they have the DPM++ ones, just like in Automatic 1111. So we have our image sizes here. Let's increase the height to 768. We have our steps here. It's so usually default 25, which is fine. Guidance scale 7.5. Oh, hyper network, okay. Output format, let's change that to PNG. Yeah, I like seeing live previews. There is a face restoration, which is great. Scale up feature two, we'll leave that off for now. 
Oh, and image modifiers. This is really interesting. So it looks like they give you some options, you know, if you're new to prompting. So there are some drawing styles here, visual styles, anime, CGI, comic book. That's pretty cool. What did we have here? Drawing style, children's drawing, detailed and intricate sketch. I quite like that. This is great for new people. Chalk colored pencil. Wow, they even have a camera section. Canon 50, cinematic, color grading, HD. Wow, this looks really cool. But I do want to figure out how to install models for this. Let me take a quick look in the source folder. It's usually located there. If you remember, I installed it on my C drive. We're just going into the same folder, Stable Diffusion UI. Here we see a folder for models. There's Stable Diffusion there, and there you go. We have Stable Diffusion 1.4, which is severely out of date. So I'll show you how to download your own model from Hugging Face, Civit AI, wherever it is you get a model for Stable Diffusion. It's actually really simple to do. So in your browser, type in civitai.com. I encourage you to register for this site if you're using Stable Diffusion locally. The community models are amazing. It has an NSFW filter, which I think is great. You can toggle it on and off here. And then also at the corner, you have some options here. If you want to browse in safe mode, we'll click on that right now. If you want to include adult or everything. We have Dream Shaper here. Uh, I actually just downloaded that to use for Automatic 1111. If you look here, it's 5.57 gigabytes. That's one of the downsides about Stable Diffusion checkpoint models. They're usually, yeah, like five to seven gigabytes. And if you like downloading models, you better be sure to have the room on your hard drive. All you do here is click on this drop down and you're going to have some options to download some different files here. So I'm going to use this one called Model Save Tensor. And then we're just going to save that in our downloads folder. Okay, so here is our Dream Shaper file. As you see the file extension, it says Save Tensors. We're going to drag it in our Models folder under Stable Diffusion, as you see the address here. And you're simply just going to drop it in there. It's as easy as that. I'm going to refresh and see if that works. If not, I'm going to have to close it and restart it. So let's see here. Oh yeah, there's Dream Shaper. Awesome. So let's put in the same prompt. It kept my negative prompts, which is good. There we go. There's our preview there. Okay, it gives you an approximate time, which is great. <laughs> there we go. There's our first image. That's looking really good. We have our spiffy raccoon and it looks great. It didn't take very long. Let's do one more prompt that I often use. Now, while these run, you can see that you have your options here. You have your seed number, use as input, I guess, for image to image. You can download it here, make similar in images, variations, draw another 25 steps, and then your upscale options. Yeah, okay, results look really nice, really nice. But so far, yeah, I'm loving it. Now, typically where you're going to find your images, and I'm assuming you can find it in your settings. There you go. Save location. It defaults to the same folder, but you can change it here if you want to specify where. So in the Stable Diffusion dash UI folder, for me, I'm going to keep it under the profile folder, but I'm going to create something called outputs. I'm going to right click over this, copy address as text, then I'm going to paste it into this save location. Next we want to click on this toggle to make sure it saves in this location. All the other settings are pretty straightforward. We'll go in more in depth later. Let's click on save at the bottom. We'll go back and generate some more images and hopefully it saves it in the right place. So there you go, it worked. It created this numbered sequence file folder. Uh, if I open it up, you see we have our images here. There's the first image, second one, third one, and fourth. Now once you get out of it, and then let's say the next day you want to use it again, you simply just go into the same folder, Stable Diffusion UI, 
click on the same start stable diffusion UI command. It shouldn't take as long as the first time because you were installing new stuff. But yeah, see, we have it up and running already. So that was just a quick look. I'm gonna do a full overview on it very soon. But for the most part, if you want a free stable diffusion generator to use locally, that you can install really quickly and easy. It really is easy, stable Diffusion 2.5. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on these guys and see how far they develop. But in the meantime, my friends, make sure to check out these videos on either Playground AI, Leonardo AI. There's so much stuff coming out these days. I'll see you when I see you.